received a jarring reminder that we live in earthquake country. Indeed, but what's next for people who get hurt or suffer property damage? Joining us tonight with those answers, the CEO of Red Cross Los Angeles, Jared Barrios, and thanks so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. We talked to a woman earlier in one of mm -hmm. our reports, uh, Bridget Scoggin from Ridgecrest, who, who yeah. lost her mobile home. She is visibly upset. What do you tell people in times of these kinds of crises? It's a... Uh, whether it's a hurricane, mm -hmm. whether it's a wildfire, yes. whether it's an earthquake, whether it's your house, just a house fire, it's mm -hmm. the biggest disaster in the world. It's your disaster. And lending a compassionate hand to help people recover. We've, we're actually up in Ridgecrest. We, are, we have our shelters open, and we will be providing assistance to families like Ms. Scoggin. But that doesn't replace the house. Um, but what we do try to do, because we have this window of time now where people not just Muskegon, not just Ridgecrest, but all of Southern California sure. are actually paying attention to this risk right. because mm -hmm. we could get another 6.6 .6 in LA tomorrow. The damage would be a lot bigger, but would people be any more prepared than Muskegon? I would like to think that they would take this as a call to action. Mm -hmm. Do you have your earthquake kit? Do you have water? Do you know what to do when the ground shakes? Do you have a communications plan? All the things that you need to do to take care of your family uh, this is a chance for people to sit up and take notice, and not just in not just in Ridgecrest in Kern County, but here in the city of Los Angeles. Now we know the American Red Cross is there when needed. How quickly mm -hmm. do you guys mobilize when something like this happens? You said you were walking your dogs this morning, right? I was walking, and then my all dog. of a sudden we had this earthquake, and then the Red <laughs> Cross is there. Well, fortunately for mm -hmm. me, we have about 8,500 volunteers with the Red Cross across mm -hmm. the region, which includes half of Kern County, L.A., in your Mono counties. So we had local volunteers on the scene. We've opened up a shelter. Mm -hmm. We have a team that goes up from Antelope Valley, from Palmdale, where we have an office, uh, and we're op running our operation there. We're working closely with Cal OES, sure. uh, Kern County Fire, a lot of the other partners in these, and we do this work with a lot of partners. We aren't the first responders, but we support the first responders, and as uh, we would mentioned earlier, we support those who are victims of these disasters. So when you get to the location, mm -hmm. do you work with the first responders to find out who is in the worst condition or in the worst state? Well, what we first do is open up shelters and okay. with, uh, look, with television and radio mm -hmm. and our partners, we, we sort of advertise that people have a place to go. Mm -hmm. People typically start showing up. They'll show up to fire stations. They'll show up to churches. We get word out to all of those places so that people know they have a warm meal waiting for them at the Red Cross mm -hmm. shelter. And that's what we've got tonight in Kern County. And a lot of people that uh, donate to the Red Cross, this is where the money goes, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. Right back into their community. It's not, you know, this isn't like a Hurricane Harvey or sure. Katrina where like billions of dollars are donated, but every dollar goes to stuff like this, particularly um, to assist families like Ms. Goggin who have yeah. been affected. One last quick question. Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency for Kern County. Will this help? Well, it's, it, yes, it's going to help with certain things. A federal emergency, a FEMA declaration, a uh, federal emergency declaration, FEMA assistance would, would allow for FEMA assistance. So it's a little bit different, but um, it certainly helps. It helps make sure that we are directing state first responder resources mm -hmm. to support Kern County. Yeah. Uh, Kern County isn't as populated, their, their police and fire departments aren't as large, so to get state resources in there to help people as soon as possible, very important. It's good to know. Thank it's you. good to know you're there. Thank you, Indeed. <laughs> Thank you so sure. much. Thank you. For more information on the Red Cross and the assistance they provide, just head to kcal9.com.